Alright Rick, state semifinal time. We have six teams alive. Five games to talk about. Let's start with our friends up in Lexington. They play Refugio. Um, one team plays a lot of defense, one team plays a lot of offense. Who's going to win here? Well, Lexington's going to win. They've had five shutouts this year, which uh, not too many teams can do that. But they're playing a team that averages 59 a game. But I, I like uh, Lexington. They've got the two, the twins, Chase and Chance Cheryl. They both have a born 100 tackles. Uh, they seem like a team of destiny to me in that division. I, I'm going with Lexington. I'm actually going with the other team. It just seems like they play a little bit too much offense. Um, you got to give credit to Lexington because they did shut down a really good West Rust team last week. But I, I just don't think like Lightning's going to strike here, strike twice this week. But I could be wrong. I've been mm -hmm. I've been wrong a time or two. Twice. All right, let's go Wimberley. They're playing um, Cold Spring Oakhurst. Um, you saw Wimberley last week. Do you think they can win and get to that state championship game? Well, they're planning on it, and I'm planning on it too. Uh, Trinity Wilson, remember that name, 170 yards last week. He was Dennis Smith's backup halfway through the season. I just think that Wimberley's got it uh, on the offensive end and the defensive end. They won it five years ago, the whole state championship. Uh, this is just going to be a little roadblock on the way to the state championship again. Yeah, it just seems whatever obstacle you put in their way, they seem to get right around it, whether it's in injuries or the loss of Dennis Smith. Um, they're healthy now. They may get Dennis Smith back this week, um, maybe next week. So. They're getting, you know, to full strength, and I don't, I don't think this is going to be a problem. I no, think we're going to have a Brownwood when really to match up to talk about next. We'll week. Talk about that next week. All right, um, we got Stony Point, Ulysses Trinity. A lot of people think Trinity might be the best team in the nation. A lot of people think Stony Point is the best team in this area, maybe in the state. Um, who do you like in this one? Well, I like them both, but I'm going to pick the Stony Point. Uh, maybe it's my, uh, my pride for Round Rock. I don't know what it is, but I know Euless Trinity, of course, won it all last year. They've, they've won 26 in a row, but they barely beat Capel last week, 41-40. And I just think that uh, Stony Point's come close so many times. This is going to be their year. Watch out for Sam Kelly running back. He's going to break it loose. Um, Stony Point's offense, is, offense has been playing great. They got 72 last week, and you know, they've been in the 40s pretty much every week before then. I just think... Um, you know, defense can correct itself. They did give up some points last week, but I think they'll play more like they did against A&M Consolidated the week before. So I like Stony Point in this one. I like them by a couple scores, and I think they're going to march into that state championship game next yeah, week. Yeah. All right, um, Lake Travis, Friendswood. Um, Lake Travis, they've had a couple close games, only beat McCallum by a touchdown, only beat Tyvee by a touchdown, and last week against Cedar Park only won by one point. Is this one going to be close, or is Lake Travis going to roll into the next round? I think they're going to roll, and the reason I think Cedar Park, the team that they just beat, is going to be the, the toughest team that they're going to see in the entire state playoffs. Cedar Park good on the offensive line and the defensive line. Lake Travis, they find a way to win. 22 straight games in the playoffs. That's just as, as amazing as winning three state championships to me. I don't look for Michael Brewer to have an off day. I think they roll 24-7. I think it's going to be close, and I think it's going to be a lot bigger than 24-7. All right, um, last game. It's going to be the game of the week here. we got Cameron Yeo. we got Laga Vista. It's going to be at DKR. Both teams are undefeated. Both teams, the winner's getting to spawn that um, Class 2A Division II title game. Who do you like in this one? I like Yo, but not by much. Yo is, uh, they were a bigger school. They were a 3A school last year. Lago Vista, this is the best year they've ever had. And I, Yo, I, I see it by a field goal. They've got a great quarterback in Jack Rhodes. I, I see them winning this one. I was actually incorrect. It's the Division One title game they'll be playing in next week, the winner. I'm going with Lago Vista. I like Jamarcus Johnson. I like Austin Terry on defense. I think their defense is just maybe a little bit better. And when you have a playmaker like Jamarcus Johnson, even though Yo has a couple playmakers himself, I think Jamarcus is going to be the difference in this game. Um, so those are our preview for the semifinals. We'll be back next week to talk about the championship game. And thanks for joining us.